Hello and good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Monkey Tree Plays channel. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. Time for another session of Persona 4 Golden. Without further ado, let's get back into the game. Begin. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What are these glasses for? As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. And we can see the outlines of people on the floor. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. It's good to know. Ah. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. Oh, great. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? <laughs> yeah, those are famous last words. We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh, no way. I've got no muscles. Well, you kind of an empty suit, I suppose. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Yeah, great. Cheers for that. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? Try touching Teddy. Try pushing Teddy. Try hitting Teddy. Well, touching Teddy sounds a bit wrong, so we'll push him. He's flopping around like a tortoise on its shell. Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? If you must. Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? Oof. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Wait! Come on, turtle boy. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. It looks like the shopping district in Inaba. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. not yeah okay I mean um, I can't stand too close you know I get in your way <sighs> man they really went all out on this but out of all the places in town why'd they replicate this one how should I know this is reality for the one who's here As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Uh oh. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? They've got vending machines. I wonder if we can use them. Wait a second! They're here! Who are? What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! And you didn't tell us sooner. Huh? Uh... Goop. 
be. Stay calm and listen. What if I don't want to? What if I want to run? Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell you one thing. That, uh, that cutscene gave me goosebumps a bit. That was pretty cool. And a nice change in music as well. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works! Help. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it will be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weaknesses does more damage. If you can knock all enemies down, you'll get a one more attack. Use your weapons and skills to strike enemy weaknesses and get one more attacks to get the advantage in battle. However, if the enemies attack your weaknesses, they get extra attacks too. So always keep your enemies weaknesses and your own in mind. Okay, so what happens if we use our skill? Uh, let's use... Zeo. Deals elect damage to one foe. Uh, we'll start with the right. I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. Well, you know, just knock one down. Reminded me of Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, it did, Eric. You're right. Help. You can check known information about the enemy with the ana an analysis command or by pressing the analyze button. Ah, so we've got a one more attack. Uh, so what happens if we use analysis? Don't give up! It's weak to electricity! There we go, so it's definitely weak to electric. We don't know what its max HP are. We don't know what its max XP are. We don't know its level. It's a magician type, I assume. And it's called Slipping Hablieri. Which is kind of creepy. Let's use the skill on this other one. And now let's punch them while they're down. Yeah. It hopped up using its tongue and then licked us. Hmm. Taste this golf club.
So we gain 30 XP and two soul drops. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Amazing, Sensei! So we've gained a level. Your HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level 2. And we have a persona called Izanagi, and it's a fool. It's nice, isn't it? Monk Monkey has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona is an Aggie. Whoa, what was that? I assume it was called a fight, Yosuke. Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Fed to shadow, tongue, mouth, creature thingies, golf club and lightning? Hey, you think I can do it too? I don't know. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. Yes, yeah, so I am teacher now. S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Um, I'd say so, considering we brought you, Sake, with us. Or Yosuke, I should say. <laughs> and that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude. You call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? <laughs> Yosuke pushed him too hard, he got straight back up off his back. Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> Alright. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Then we go to the shop. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the... Oh, uh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father, to have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Or maybe she's helping her family's shop survive by bringing in a second income. Hey, hey, Ted! You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here... We'll find out ourselves. In we go. Damn it, not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I... I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. 
You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this? It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? Mm, that's not going to be a good sign, is it? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Kanishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. Ouch, that's a bit harsh. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. What a right cow. The pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. I mean, okay, I get why she's upset, but to take it out on Yosuke seems just a tad harsh. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's... So sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo hoo! Okay. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? Well, we've got funky music again. Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? <laughs> I like that it's the other use okay now. The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. Grim. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't know you. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> You're not me! You're nothing like me! Hm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see?
I am a shadow, the true self. Is this based on an anime? I don't think it's based on an anime error. Um, I th think it's an anime within itself. I could very well be wrong. I'm, I'm not really well researched into the game and its and its origins. Um, so I'm I'm not entirely sure is it the the honest answer. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Oh, we've got our golf club back. He just farted on us. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! But it's waving its arms in the air like it just don't care. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending, attacks to your weakness and status ailment attacks can be blocked. If it looks like the enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard. But be careful, for you will leave the defensive stance after being hit once. So it looks like us getting farted on is our weakness, which probably uh, is weakness for a lot of people. Right, let's use the analysis. Yikes! This is one tough enemy! So we don't know any of its weaknesses. We know it's a magician, but that's about it. And it's Shadow Yosuke. Um, Let's hit it with some Zeo. So it's weak to lightning. Let's give it a smack with our club. Lean in the ass. Punched us for twelve. Let's zap it again. Twenty-three. Eat club. That's not gonna work. It's guarding its weak point. Yikes! This is one tough enemy. Yeah, so it's definitely weak to electric, and it's just normal damage to physical. But our electrics are. Our electric is weak anyway, so there's not enough zapping our electric Zeo attack. So I think we just punch it. Uh, let's guard. Ha! Huh, that's it. Boring. That's a good job we did guard. Did uh, six damage rather than the damage it did before. Give it a zap. Well, that's handy. You can see a, a counter of our health and SP in the top right corner. That's handy. Alright, let's feed Shadow Yusuke our club. Get up. Lean in the ass! So he's charged up. Zap him again. Uh, whack him. Damn it, don't underestimate me. Oof. Okay, we should have guarded. Luckily, we've got a medicine we can take. Here comes an attack! Defend yourself! 
So that healed us up. You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. No, thank you. Get out of my Okay, let's zap him. He ain't got much left, so what happens if we zap him again? Damn it, don't underestimate me! Here comes an attack! Defend yourself! One more hit's probably enough, I reckon. What a frickin' pain in the ass! Get out of my way! No. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! No, we punch it. It's nearly dead. <laughs> So we gained 100 XP, 3,000 Yen, no items. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Congratulations, Sensei! Your HP and SP have increased. Yeah, so we've got 94 health and 57 max SP. We need 9 XP to go up another level. You are now able to create personas up to level 3. Something inside of you has changed. Izanagi has leveled up. So he's gained 1 strength. 1 EM, energy maybe. AG is increased by 1 as well, so he's gained agility. Shadow Yusuke seems to have calmed down. You... You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Mm, you're still yourself. You have to be brave. Everyone's the same inside. Let's switch scenes, shall we? <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a fantastic evening and a fantastic weekend. Um, if you'd like to catch up on the stream, if there's anything you've missed, it will be being uploaded to a YouTube channel that I'm starting. Um, and you should start seeing those videos filter through later on. So once again, thank you very much for joining me this evening. I hope you enjoyed our trip through Persona 4 Golden. And I hope to see you again next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.